everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make the uh, paper mache balloon here. And um, we're going to turn this into a beautiful flower vase. Blow the balloon at the side that you want. I just blow in like this big. They, it doesn't matter what the size, but it depends on how big you want your vase to be. So after you, you blow the balloon, you're going to tie the top here. I have the rubber band here that uh, we're not using it for anything. I'm going to use this for later on. We're going to hang it to dry overnight or a couple hours depend. I have here, it's about half a cup of water and I'm using one cup of glue. So you can buy a glue with the big bottle. I'm too lazy. Go to our basement, get the gallon, um, the big giant bottle up. Popsicle stick so you can stir or paint brush if you don't want to put your hand in there. The newspaper, you can cut the newspaper to the side that you like and just make sure you separate them all out. Now you're going to add the whole thing of the glue in here. I have to fill this up when I go down to the basement. I'm going to get the whole thing in here, very messy, cover your work area with paper playing around make sure the newspaper is soaked and wet and then you can just as long as you cover the whole thing So everyone, I did three layers. So now I have this like this. So I'm going to put on the stick here, just like this, and then put over the draft barrel and let it hang in there. Okay, everyone, so the video part to the balloon need dry. I have the spray pan here. Instead of painting, I'm going to spray the paint all over. This is white. Yeah, hold the quiet. No? Is that ready, Yeah, but wait, wait. Is there just a mouth? Let me go this. Yeah. You can smell it? Oh, oh. So everyone, on the top of the balloon here, I'm going to get the marker on the top here. I'm going to draw it down. If you want a shorter vase, then you have to cut it lower down, but I just want a taller one, just like that in the middle. This is in here and start cutting this. Cut that and you can take take the balloon out from here. Look at this. I didn't cut the whole balloon. I let it dry so I have the balloon still here. So now I have something like this everyone. I'm going to put my hand in and try and to push it down so it can stay because the balloon don't don't stand so well. So you have to put your hand in here and then make the bottom a little bit flat here so it can stain paint that I have it here you can get this at the Dollar Tree everyone it, it's cheaper when you buy it at the shop it will be more expensive you 
get the brush you don't have the brush you can get the foam brush at the dollar tree also so go ahead and paint around what you paint in around you can get the tissue if you uh, spray paint it will look better too but um, I have another one that I will share with you another idea what to do with this with the tissue so when after you done spray I spray three times here with the spray pen but if you want to do more you can do more And then I'll show you how to add the uh, design on it. So go ahead everyone, paint all over, apply tissue at your paint on the bottom too, all over. Okay everyone? So here everyone, I paint, I apply the uh, tissue. You can use a napkin, the napkin that you use. You can cut it out and then you can just paint on it just the way I did. I'm going to cut some square piece of tissue here to design my flower. So I'm going to fold it like this. You, know, you sure know how to make this. And then you're going to fold it like a triangle. And then I'm going to fold it again. Fold it one more time. One more time, but from here I'm gonna start cutting the way I want the shape to be. If I want to go up like a heart shape, I can too. If not, you can just wrap all the way to here. And open it, you can have your flower here. You can have the flower, then you can apply around this. Yeah. So you have to position what you want your flower to be. So you can apply it uh, around if you like, and see if you like it or not. With the um, the paint, the paint here that I got here with the glue and everything in here, so it's perfect. Now, if you like it like this, or you like it all over, then you can just decide whatever you want to your vase to be. So I like it to go all around, but spray out, I want a little bit um, of the white to show. I don't cover the whole thing, so like this first everyone, and then after that we can apply the paint. So like this, all over the vase. It's going to come out very pretty. So everyone, after you put all the flower the way you want, all around, now you continue to paint. But on this coat, you're going to be gentle. It's just you don't want to wingle the flower on the petal. Get the foam brush, everyone, from a Dollar Tree. It make it easy for you. I just don't feel like going to look for it on this hot weather.
So go ahead and paint everyone just like this. And make sure you paint on the flower. So put the paint on the flower so the flower can stay flat down. Like this. And that's it. Beautiful. Let it dry and I will show you for the finished look everyone. Look at this everyone. It's nice and finished. So beautiful. So please make this everyone and then put some flower on it and uh, spray paint inside too if you like. I think that is this okay? If I leave some flower in there, it should be fine and cover everything. So awesome everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Look at the flower here and it's nice and shine. So get everything, not the balloon, but get everything from the Dollar Tree everyone. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Stay safe and take care.